I'm really excited to bring this episode of Serpente Sundays to you because we are looking at enclosures and shelving from black box cages. You can find them at blackboxcages.com and I know they're also on Facebook, but we are also going to be discussing ledges and shelves in general. So I'm not only going to show you some fantastic enclosures by black box cages and some shelves that we got from them, but I'm also going to show you some other shelving options that we use and go over a little bit of information about where you can find those and how I've repurposed some household items to utilize as shelves for the snakes. Hi everyone and welcome to Serpente Sunday for January 24th, 2021. I am Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about some fantastic shelves that I have been putting together. These shelves are from Black Box Cages and we have 11 enclosures from blackboxcages.com that they built for us and they built them standard sizes but to the specs that we wanted as far as routing for lighting and heat and shelves. I wanted shelves for our black box enclosures because our species of snakes that we keep here are climbers and they love to rest high off the ground on ledges and shelves. So when we made our last big order of 10 enclosures at once, I asked if they could design some shelves for us and they were very accommodating. And I sent some measurements that I thought would be appropriate for our snakes. What I decided to do was, for example, for our six foot enclosures, I wanted a five foot shelf. So the enclosure is six foot long, but the ledge at the back ends up being five feet long. And that's so that I can put some other things in the corner. And so it gives the option for the snake to kind of climb up the side and get on the ledge instead of always having to climb up from the front. And I'll show you some video of what these look like in the enclosures as well. This is one of our six foot long enclosures from Black Box Cages. And this is our Morelia Bradley Benu. He is six years old and he is lying on the shelf there. That's a five foot long shelf, but as you see, I've put other things in the corner like a perch and a humid hide. And he likes to stretch out here every single night. And he actually wants out of his enclosure less than he used to want out since we've put him in this six foot enclosure with this ledge at the back. light. They're very simple to put together. They come in black or white and I have them in 24 inch, 30 inch, 36 inch, and 60 inch lengths. And then I ask for them to be 16 inches high and I ask that they be eight inches uh, deep. So that's what these are. So all that's required to put these together are a Phillips head screwdriver. You can do it by hand or you can use a motorized power screwdriver. They're gonna come disassembled, but black box cages puts them together first to make sure all of the pieces and parts fit together correctly. Then they take them apart and they send them to you flat and then you just assemble them when you get them home and everything is labeled and they come with screws. Now the shorter enclosures are just as you see here. So they don't have any support in the middle. This is a 24 inch and you do have the option to leave them freestanding or they pre-drill holes for you in this back piece in case you want to attach them to the side or the wall of your enclosure. And then I will show you the Longer ones are gonna have a support here in the middle, right here, to make this more stable. But they're very lightweight shelves and it doesn't add much weight to your enclosure. You have the option of leaving them freestanding or securing them to the enclosure wall. And again, they come in black or white. And I'm sure that if you had a different height or width or length that you wanted, that they would be happy to accommodate you because black box cages has just been fantastic to work with, which is obviously why we have 11 of their enclosures now. 
and I'm sure we will be working with them more in the future. So this is the last shelf that I have to put together. We have shelves in all of our black box cages enclosures, except the three foot. When we ordered the three by 18 by 18 enclosure, I didn't think to ask about a shelf. For the other 10 enclosures that we got from them, I had shelves built for each one and they ship flat and then you just put them together when they arrive. Then I decided I liked the shelves so much that I had them build me just some shelves and send them so that I could put these same shelves in some of the enclosures that we already had that aren't from black box cages. Here's an example of how these shelves are gonna come when you order them. And they're gonna be all taped together and they'll be labeled, like this one is labeled 36 inch. with um, the two leg supports and all of the holes and everything are pre-drilled. They put these together at their facility first um, to make sure everything fits together correctly and then they take them apart and they ship them flat and they're very easy to assemble. This is all the pieces that I'm gonna need for the 36 inch shelf. So the legs, they do pre-drill um, holes in the back in case you want to secure those to your enclosure wall. So this is the back and everything is pre-drilled and this is routed already for this support piece that goes in there to help make the ledge stronger. So the 24 inch shelf doesn't have this center support, but if it's longer than 24 inches, you're gonna have this center support. For the bigger shelves, you're gonna end up with five pieces. You're gonna have a top, piece and a back piece you're gonna have the two legs or the two side pieces and then you're gonna have that center piece for extra support for the 24 inch shelves you're just gonna have four pieces the two legs and the top and the back Here's TC wanting out. I guess he, I'm in the room working, and so of course he wants out now. What are you doing? You're gonna come out and help me build shelves? Hmm? Are you gonna help me build shelves? Well, I'm not gonna list you out. You can come out on your own if you want out. These are examples of adhesive shelves that I use. These are on the outside of TC's containment pen because he likes to climb around the outside of the pen. And so I put these shelves up here to give him something additional to climb on. TC's being such a great model here. Here are some of the magnetic ledges that I use. These are from Mag Naturals. And these are the magnetic ledges that hold up to two pounds each. And I wish they made larger ones because if the snakes get too big, obviously the magnets no longer hold them. But I've used all kinds of things for elevated surfaces, upside down crates and cat trees with shelves on them, bins, just anything that allows the snakes to rest on top of or climb on up off the ground. These Mag Naturals ledges are actually really popular and I think that's because they're textured and they're not one level surface. So it gives them a little bit of variance in their terrain and they're grippy and the snakes really love them, which is why I wish Mag Naturals would make larger ones. Here's an example of what those magnetic ledges look like from the outside. These are the shelves that only hold one pound and they're attached by these magnets. So there's a magnetic substance on the back of the shelf and then they come with magnets. And I do use them on glass as well as PVC and it works really well as long as your PVC isn't too thick. You just have to test that out.
I wish that I could actually work as quickly as it looks like I'm working here, but I did fast forward this a bit so that you didn't have to watch me put an entire shelf together piece by piece in real time. Each shelving unit comes with 13 to 15 screws, depending on if it has that center support or not. I'm just not going to make you watch me screw each of those screws into the shelves. So I'm not showing all of the screws going in that ultimately end up in these pieces. This is one of the black box cages shelves that I have put into a 36 by 18 by 36 inch Exoterra. And, and luckily it just fit under the adhesive shelves I already had in there. And then I put all of her perching, her branch, her other ledges, and all of her other enclosure furnishings back in. And it's working out just great. It's freestanding. I didn't attach it to the glass in any way, but this is a 30 inch shelf from black box cages that I've put into a 36 by 18 by 36 inch Exoterra. And TC was supervising, of course. So far, I have assembled a total of 19 shelves from black box cages and we have assembled 11 enclosures. I'm sure this won't be the end of it. I'll be assembling more. This is an example of another shelf that I'm testing out. Now this is obviously a freestanding shelf, but this one is from Zen Habitats and it has a little cave underneath it. And then this top section is actually a piece of slate and it can come off but it's designed to fit in there and sit underneath your heat source so that it creates natural infrared sea heat. So what happens when you have your heat source on during the day is the animals can bask here, but also the slate takes in all of the heat that is produced by the sun during the day and it heats up. And then at night, if you turn your heat source off, this will radiate infrared C and the animal can still warm up somewhat at night as if they were sitting on a rock that had been warmed during the day by the sun. So I don't have an animal in this enclosure yet. What I'm doing right now is getting it set up and testing out the heat and I'm testing out this new ledge. So 
78, 79. Depends on where I have the heat gun. There's 80. And I only have a 40 watt ceramic heat emitter above this. And there's a good 12 inches of space between the basking surface and the heat source. Actually, even more than that because that ceramic heat emitter isn't right on that screen. It's several inches up above the screen. So I can make this hotter if I need to by either raising the ledge up or putting a higher wattage heat source in or lowering the heat source so it's closer to the screen top. This again is offered by Zen Habitats and they make this size and they also make one that sits in the corner. I'll show a picture of that. One of our Bradley likes to use that, although it's a little bit small for her. So I might be switching her corner piece out for one like this because this is their a uh, little bit larger one. Although I would still like even bigger ones because the Bradley barely fits on hers. This is my Morelia Bradley Sunspear. She's turning four years old this year and she's inside her black box cages enclosure. And she does like to use that slate, but she's a little bit big for it. And she also likes her black box cages shelf. Here are some examples of other things that I've used as ledges and shelves. I have a Magna Naturals ledge there on the side of her enclosure. This is Balana. She's one of my Morelia Bradley. And then down here, I actually just have two wood and metal shelves that I got from off of amazon.com. And they're meant to extend um, your counter space or inside your cabinet space. So. There's shelves that have been created for use like in your kitchen or bathroom that you can set things on, but I use them inside the snake enclosures and they make great shelves. I've got actual real rocks from outside on hers underneath her basking source so that it heats those rocks up. And then there's a couple of more Mag Naturals ledges over here. You can see she's on her branch right now. And then in the back corner, that is actually designed for your kitchen cabinet so that you can more easily stack dishes, plates, and bowls, and it extends the useful space in your kitchen cabinets. But I use these things all the time for my snake enclosures. This is another example of one of the things that I was talking about that's designed for your kitchen counter or your kitchen cabinets to extend usable space. And I have it here in the corner of this snake's enclosure, actually right next to the shelf that came from black box enclosures. And then up here, I've got a hanging hide. I think that one came from Reptile Basics, but you can also get the hide hangers from specialty enclosure designs as well. Here's an example of what those corner shelves are supposed to be used for. However, I find they work perfect inside the snake enclosures for the snakes that like ledges and shelves and they fit perfectly into the corners. Here's one of those corner cabinet pieces inside my 36 by 18 by 18 black box cages enclosure. I have a corn snake in here and this is just a perfect size for this corn snake. He is going on four years old and he's on the smaller side. And this enclosure is extremely spacious and roomy for him. And I'm really happy with it. We just didn't think to order a shelf for this particular black box enclosure. Unlike this one, this is our four foot by two foot by two foot black box cages enclosure. We have a Central American boa who lives in this. And by this time we thought to ask about shelving. And so this enclosure does have a shelf in it. You can see that at the back. And then black box cages routed the lighting and heating for us so that we were able to install that UVB light bar and the uh, heat lamp up there. That was already all pre-drilled and routed and a space was made for us to put the cords through and it came with all of that already done. 
Now this enclosure was not made by black box enclosures. This is a six foot by three foot tall by two foot deep enclosure that we have for a pair of carpet pythons. And I'm going to be putting black box cages shelving in this enclosure. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that you joined me this weekend for Serpente Sunday, and I am very thankful for all of you who watch all or most of my videos and who subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out a lot. I'm really, really dedicated to getting evidence-based reptile content out there, and I use YouTube primarily for educational purposes and to show off the animals because they're the love of my life. And I really appreciate all of the viewers who watch on a regular basis and who subscribe to the channel. So until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.